So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this blemish on the car here. I've got a clip in Premiere. I'm going to bring that into After Effects so I can get rid of that little dot that's showing up on the hood of the car. So we go in, it automatically saves a composition, and you can see when we go through that dot moves with the car hood, and I just want to remove that little blemish there from the hood. So I'm going to double click on the file. I'm going to go to the clones tool. Make sure lock source time is selected. And I'm going to go to choose the size. I'm going to overlay, press alt click to grab that adjacent paint and left click and put it on there. So you see when I move this, the dot actually just stays in the same location on the screen. So I need that dot to overlay onto the moving image. So I go into the video clip and what I'm going to do is select this and go to the track, track motion. Cause I want it to stay in place, hit track motion, make sure that's selected. And I'm going to move this on to something that's going to remain in the frame the entire sh clip of, of this. So I'm going to choose the hood ornament here because it's got some good contrast around it. Expand those out so it kind of has some pixels to grab and press play. You can see it's tracking along with that Jaguar head. And if, at this point, if it didn't track exactly, you can adjust some of these keyframes to uh, different locations. But I'm going to go to move this over to my dot. And the reason I didn't choose the dot to begin with was I don't think it would track very well being so small and not having everything blue around it. So I'm going to move this tracker right on top of the dot here. All right. So it's good. I'm going to turn those off and now I need to make the position of my clone match up with the position of the tracker. So I'm going to drag this little wing curly Q thing or whatever it's called to that. And it's going to tie those two together. You can't see it yet because I'm still in this actual image file. So I'm going to close this and go to the composition. In here you'll see that the clone tool matches up with the dot and then when I move this that follows it. So you can't really tell that dot was ever there. So I'm going to export this to um, Adobe Encoder and bring it back into the video. That's how you remove some blemishes. Thanks for watching. Hope you found some value.